in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on fifty centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you your way thank you for watching be blessed and so the integrity of God is behind his word and then we can trust that word say after me I believe Say, this is the year that I'm a believer. Many of you hear words and you just say, wow, nice words. It's our job to always find out what God is doing in the world. And then to find out what he's doing in the continent of Africa and of Nigeria. And to find out what he wants to do in our lives. Hallelujah different ministries, different churches, different denominations, groups have corporate words that God has given them. Hallelujah. And it's our job to bring words that will guide us in prophecy. Hallelujah. He said the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secret to his servants, the prophets. Amos 3 verse 9. So let's look at Daniel 11. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all. Hallelujah. Are you there? And such as do wickedly. Against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. He said, but the people who do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. The people who know their God, they shall be strong and as a result, they will do exploits. He said, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. But let him that glory at glory in this, that he knoweth and understandeth God. The treasure of the believer is the knowledge of God. And he said, in this season, for they that know their God, they shall be strong. Strong by the Spirit. And as a result, they shall do exploit. Hallelujah. The Lord gave us this word and began to communicate unto us the things that we would expect. And I'll be sharing very briefly, I'll be sharing some of them. Our focus, we believe in vision. And the Bible says without vision, the people cast off restraint. Hallelujah. Vision brings order. Vision brings focus. Vision helps you to align with the Holy Ghost. Vision lets you know what God is not doing. Vision lets you know the emphasis of God for every season. So that you do not find yourself relating in the old wine. Because when the, the apostles were filled with the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2, they that stood outside said, These men have taken new wine, not an old wine. Hallelujah. The thing about God is that at every level, he reveals something fresh and new. Hallelujah. And so we thank God for the things he'll be doing this year. It's our season of supernatural exploits. What do we expect this year? I'll tell us the things God has shown me. Hallelujah. 
the chaos will continue in the world. For it is not taking believers unawares. The darkness will be more. The economic meltdown will not stop. I said it in 2007. And I said another one was coming. It has begun. The Lord will break the pride of wicked men. Hallelujah. The Lord showed me a lot of catastrophe and chaos. Especially within the European nations. I still saw hurricanes. Plots of terrorism. And the death of major leaders. Hallelujah. But then, as much as this is happening, there will be an emergence of glory such as never seen. Especially around the Asian nations, there will be such a global awakening sweeping across Asia. Singapore and China, the Lord showed me, will carry a degree and dimension of fire. The first time I saw this vision was in 2005. I saw little Chinese children. Remember I shared it? 2005. And the Lord told me this is the year when it will manifest. There will be an emergence, an outpouring of the Holy Ghost sweeping across nation, Asia. There will be supernatural encounters among Arab nations. Jesus himself will appear in dramatic, he will appear in places of worship, appear to families without an individual leading them to Christ. Their encounter will be solid and real. This will happen in rapid succession. Hallelujah. The economy of Africa will rise in this year in a very dramatic way. And three countries the Lord showed me will pioneer this. One, Nigeria. Two, South Africa. Three, Ghana. These three nations will come in with a level, their GDP will so increase. Ideas and insight will come. Are you listening, please? So what do we expect in Nigeria? Hallelujah. I saw a flaming sword. There will be many deaths this year. God will judge wicked men in dramatic ways in this nation. Hallelujah. Many people will be dethroned by the Spirit. It will start from the month of March. This I saw. Hallelujah. It will start in the month of March. I want us to pray for the presidency. We will pray. Because there is an arrow of death plaguing the presidency. From the president to those around the cabinet. Hallelujah. mysterious sicknesses mysterious diseases will engulf politicians in a way that will make them afraid many will be disappointed as a result of all the covenants they have made it will fail woefully hallelujah in 2010 in 2011 I saw the death of a presidential figure. I was there in a vision. Hallelujah. I was there. I saw it. And I just prayed and the Lord told me it is for an appointed time. And last year I was in a vision. I was in a military place and I stood there and the next thing I saw soldiers taking their ammunition and I saw them running around and I did not understand what was happening 
And later on, I opened a room and I saw military men on their knees lifting their hands and worshiping God. And they said the death of a figure that has represented terrorism. I will not mention name for security reasons, but I saw his obituary on the newspaper. Hallelujah. And there will be breakthrough even in the areas of medicine. This will happen globally. The Lord showed me breakthroughs in the areas of medicine. Hallelujah. Many things will happen in this nation from the month of March. You know what? You know what Dr. Lukoya calls power must change hands. There will be a switching of many things. Mark it. Mark it. God will do things that will confuse people. in it he will be glorified what of the church of God God is going to humble the proud in, the ch in his church and his body this year in very dramatic ways there are three kinds of error the Lord seeks to correct in the church number one the manifestation of witches and wizards who have carried suits and paraded themselves. For God will expose wicked men. Hallelujah. Number two. God is going to come in in his mercy to rescue people whose wine has been mixed with water. There are genuine men who have been called of God. But they could not wait through the trying period. And they began to dapple their genuine task for God with acts of witchcraft to compliment on their anointing are you listening to me so there are people who are genuinely called god called them god anointed them they have a track record of seeking god but because they were looking for crowd and fame and money and they could not wait he said all the days of my appointed time i will wait till my change comes and many of them could not wait and as a result they began to mix their anointing with wine I see the Lord stretching his hand of mercy. And then one of the things that God is going to be doing again is to help the third category. Young men who got up with zeal pursuing God without direction. And many hands have been laid upon them. They are carrying spirits that look like God, but they are not of God. They are seeing visions. They are walking in power. They are moving in miracles. But even them, they are doubting the source of that anointing. God is going to help many of them. And he will do it by bringing the word of truth and fire to purge his house. This the Lord showed me will happen in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. There will be massive evangelism in this country like never before. So winning. And God will use the tools of the miraculous. An outpouring of miracles signs wonders even by the spirit of god do you believe this hallelujah and so what does god have for us there will be massive betrayal of people in politics people will betray themselves Many people will betray themselves. You will see it on papers. You will see it around. Many people will betray themselves. But the counsel of the Lord will stand in this nation. In a very surprising way, the economy of Nigeria will rise this year in a way that will shock many people. Write it. The economy of this country will rise in a dramatic way. A dramatic way. A dramatic way. Hallelujah. One of the things that the Lord showed me is... I saw 
many families, many believers taken to a stream. Remember the book of Gideon? That he took an army to a stream. And I saw many people fetching water, but they were not washing, they were not drinking it. They were washing their faces. I saw tears that were dried. And many people were washing, washing away their tears. This is what God will do for many families this year. Honestly speaking, believe me, I wrote these things in detail so that I will communicate it the way the Lord. Hallelujah. And for us as a family of faith, what is God going to be doing? Number one, this year through us, there will be a harvest of souls in this place. Dramatic harvest of souls, massive salvations, and it will happen through the manifestation of strange and awe inspiring miracles. I'm telling you this now so that you will believe. Number two, there will be a mighty manifestation of the miraculous. If you think you've seen the miraculous last year, you've not seen anything. You will see miracles that will cause your tongue to cleave to your teeth. Hallelujah. Number three, there will be a manifestation of great wealth and prosperity. For many people, it's going to be a shock. I know we all know we'll be blessed, but you will see prosperity that will make you afraid. Do you believe this? And the Lord told me this will happen for three reasons. Number one, for our comfort. Number two, establishment. This is a year of establishment for many people. You will be established. And number three, for kingdom activities. And the weapon God will use is favor and wisdom. Favor and wisdom. This will be the tools that God will I'm trying to give you specifics so that you don't live here confused at all. Favor and wisdom. Are you writing, please? Number four, there will be a display of the manifold wisdom of God this year. The manifold wisdom, multifaceted wisdom of God. In our midst, through us, through you. Every time I say us, I'm not talking about myself or the ministers. Through you. The Bible says that it be known to the principalities and powers. The multifaceted wisdom. Number five. The Lord told me he will put a crown of honor upon the heads of many people. A crown of honor. A crown of honor. A crown of honor. When the Lord told me this, I received it with tears in my eyes. Many of you have not experienced what it means for God to honor a man. And King Ahasuerus told Mordecai, he said, come. There is something I have prepared for you to do. A man who was sitting by the gates. And the Bible says it was Haman who designed the package for the honor of Mordecai. And Mordecai was put on a chariot and made to go around the city. Listen, there are some things that are bigger than money. Honor is one of them. Are you listening to me? Job said, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, he said, I washed my feet with butter. The ancients spoke about me close to the gates. He said, the young men saw me and they bowed their head. That's called honor. There is a way God will put a mantle of honor upon a man. There is an atmosphere, a carriage of grace and glory that you carry. It's beyond your age. This is not about money. This is not just about anointing. That you become a subject of discussion. And people say, what has, the Lord has done mighty things for them. He said, when the Lord shall turn again the captivity of Zion, we will be like them that dream. And even the heathen will testify. And say, the Lord has done great things for us. 
the Lord will put a crown of honor upon the heads of many people. Many people. You will be distinguished. You cannot even explain it. Anywhere you go, you eat in a restaurant, somebody says, I want to pay for you. This one is not just favor, it's honor. Hallelujah. You come late and someone says, I've kept a seat for you. Honor. Why does God honor us to give us influence so that we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom? These are the things that the Lord will be doing in our midst this year. And so our focus as a ministry this year will be to, number one, to engage in massive salvation of sinners. I'm telling you what we will be doing as a family of faith. We won't do anything outside this. We'll concentrate on soul winning like never before this year. And every one of us, inside and outside, hearing me, you must be a part of this. Massive soul winning. We will bring a harvest. A harvest of people. The Lord told me something. He said, son, if you will give me souls, I will give you the miraculous like you have never seen. I said, God, if that is the deal, no problem. He said, if you will give me souls, you will see the miraculous. Let me tell you something. The miraculous only answers to evangelism because the purpose of miracles is to bring many to the fold. So any man, any ministry that is actively engaged in the miraculous without soul winning, their source of anointing is questionable. Hallelujah. Massive salvation of souls. By the grace of God, every one Friday will give an opportunity for people to get born again. Not just the miracle service. Every Friday, beginning from today, and any other special program at all. Number two, we'll continue with building and equipping the saints as we've always done. Keep building people, equipping the saints. Number three, healing the sick, setting the captives free, and releasing breakthroughs to lives and families, not only through our miracle services. But I trust that every service this year will be a miracle service indeed. Hallelujah. Number four. This year we will open financial doors to God's people. To bring about comfort. To bring about establishment. And to provide an opportunity to sow into kingdom advancement. How many of you believe the things I'm sharing? God will do it. Now, what is the key here? Listen, every time God tells you that this is what he wants to do, he will show you the key. Hallelujah. And the Lord told me the key is the presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God. He says, Moses speaking said, we will not leave here if your presence will not go with us. He said, for how shall they know that we are a separate people? The mystery of his divine presence. He says, and God walking with them, confirming the word. God walking with them. God walking with them. This year, I want you to walk in the consciousness that God is with you. I've been saying this thing all through when God gave me this word. God is with me. I'm not alone. Can I have someone here? God walking. So Sam is not walking alone. God walking. Worship team as you're ministering. Be conscious of his divine presence. God. As Ike is playing the keyboard, God walking with you. As we're ministering the word, God walking with us. Listen, when God walks with a man, even if they don't respect you, they will respect the one who is walking with you. And God walking with them. And God, the mystery of his divine presence. The presence of God manifested in the person of the Holy Spirit. That's why from the SMS I sent to us, 
I said it will be done by the hand of God. The hand of God is not some mystery. The hand of God is the operation of the spirit of power. He said, if I cast out devils through the finger of God, and the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Acts 10, 38. And he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. Why? For God was with him. Koinonia will do exploits this year because God is with us. We will do things that men say cannot be done impossible salvations dramatic testimonies by the spirit of god increase and expansion financial breakthroughs change transformation every department moving in power everyone growing in grace having a testimony for yourself and being a manifestation of that testimony being a sign and a wonder because god is with us God is with us. His manifested presence. When God walks with a man, that man becomes a sign and a wonder. I'm telling you, this is the secret of koinonia. God is not just for us, but God is walking with us. This year, you must covet the presence of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? We are not magicians. It won't just happen by magic. God are you listening to me? This is the difference between magicians. God will be walking with us. So that any time there are manifestations of the spirit, we will let people know that the greater one walks with us. David Yongicho wrote a book called The Holy Spirit, My Senior Partner. I've been walking in the consciousness that God is with me. He said, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Say, God is with me. Say, he's walking with me. Although, I want you to just imagine that as you're moving, he's with you. In class, he's with you. On your job, he's with you. He's with you. When someone looks at you and says, you will not become anything, he says, it's too late. God is with me. The presence of God made a dry rod to produce leaves. The, the rod of Aaron budded because it was kept in an atmosphere. The shoe bread was kept in the act of the covenant and it did not decay. The Bible says God walked with them as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And their clothes grew with them. The soles of their feet, I mean the shoes that they wore, did not wear out. Because God was with them. And when they called Balaam to go and curse them, he said, I cannot curse them because the shout of the king is in the midst of the people. Hallelujah. God walking with you. Say, God is walking with me. You will see a man, but the result will be bigger than the man. God walking with a man. God walking with a man. As young as you are, some of you, you will do exploits that will shock your family members. They will say, where did you get this wisdom? They that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Do you believe this? That you become a generational blessing you become a portrait of a blessed man. This is what God is going to do this year. So you are not only moving, you are carrying his divine presence. You are going with him. You step into the room, you are stepping with his presence. Everywhere you go, this is what makes you a blessing. You are not just a blessing because you are confessing. You are a blessing because the blessed one walks with you. Granting you grace. Granting you the manifestation of his spirit. You will watch yourself walk in all inspiring wonders. Because God is with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Sir. 
So these are the things that God will be doing in our midst. And this has been my prayer. I've begun to pray it for my life and for everyone. Hallelujah. We hope to achieve this through our teachings in Koinonia. We we'll have dramatic and dynamic teachings by the grace of God. It's our job to cut across every area of the Christian experience. Ministry, spiritual growth, finance, family life, leadership, the miraculous, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, vision, purpose, you just name it. It's our job to make sure that believers grow in a balanced manner. Hallelujah. Number two is our joy to let you know that this year we'll begin our school of ministry. Hallelujah. You've not had an experience of training. It's our job this year to pour ourselves to raise and train firebrand ministers. Hallelujah. We're going to have lecturers from different churches, different denominations. Hallelujah. Touching on topics and areas that God has engraced them. Hallelujah. So for those of you who have been called, this is an opportunity. It's going to be a great one, I tell you. We have a lot of ministers. We're going to have practicals for the students. Where we'll take you to mission fields. It's not just about, um, um, I'm called, I'm called, I'm this and that. All those things, no. You believe you're anointed. We'll test it with a demon in the village. Hallelujah. It's going to be a great time. We'll teach principles of ministry and help many people to balance the error that is killing a lot of people. Whether you are a pastor, pope, reverend, whatever you are, you are invited. Be having our school of ministry. Hallelujah. Our anchor scripture for that is taken from 2 Timothy 2 verse 2. Can someone read it for us? Please very quickly so we pray. We're going to teach our students on spiritual growth, principles of ministry, the anointing, church planting, evangelism, family life, character, ministry ethics, the kingdom, God's agenda, pneumatology, eschatology, management, and leadership. Hallelujah. It's a program that will run for four months. Weekend classes. Second Timothy 2 verse 2. Anybody? Please. Okay. Second Timothy 2 verse 2. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Hallelujah. He said the things which you have heard of me among many witnesses. He said, commit it. Listen, the proof that a leader is successful is that you can reproduce yourself in many people. Gone are the days of that one man show in the church. Are you listening to me? Gone are the days of that one man, the man of power, the man of anointing. He's the only one, the king of kings and the lord of lords. And then we have the beggarly. No, 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 no. True leadership, the only way to multiply your success is to Moses said, I desire that my spirit will fall upon them. If the only thing we have to say is that there's a group of anointed men and women, ah, Joshua Selman, or oh, Pastor Jakes, or oh, Bishop Stan, we are failures. Hallelujah. The ability to have men and women who have been raised to carry the fire and the grace of God. To multiply the things that God is doing in the lives of others. So this is wonderful. So koinonia number one, number two. Is our school of ministry. Hallelujah. And by the grace of God, Bishop Stan will be directing our school of ministry. Come on, appreciate him. He's going to be your principal. You better clap.
It's a real school. We're going to graduate our students. Don't you think it's some um, roadside? You should know us by now. We're excellent people. When we're not ready for a thing, we don't do it. So don't you think it's just some class where you... No, no, no. The way you know a school, with examinations, assessments, we have a lot of prof in our midst, thank God, who will help us. More on that will come. Number three, missions and evangelism. We will do a lot of missions and evangelism. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we plan to visit almost all the secondary schools in this city. Hallelujah. We'll visit them, work with their FCS, and have some time of impartation. We are not the ones that will go. It's now your turn to go. Hallelujah. Yes, we're going to send some of you. I tell you, don't think we're going to do some. No, 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 no. You will now have the opportunity to test the word. The Bible says, after Jesus had taught them for a while, he sent the 70. He said, now you go two by two. Go in my name. When you go, do not just fly around. Go to the Lordship of Israel. That's why we're not sending you to Kaduna. Go to the Lordship of Israel. The Bible says, the people came rejoicing, just like many of you will come back rejoicing. Say, can you imagine? Even the demons were subject to us through thy name. And the Bible says he rejoiced in his spirit. He said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Many of us, I believe this year, will shed tears of joy because of what God will do through your own hands. So this is a participatory thing. Are you listening to me? You will be part of it. Many of you have always been praying. Your friends have told you, let's go and start our church. Jared, this colonial thing. Won't they give us an opportunity to shine? You will shine and be tired this year. Hallelujah. Yes, we hope to visit secondary schools and um, we have a mission. Our focus will be in Giwa, areas of Giwa and Shika. Hallelujah. Jake's had started a work there and by God's grace we'll do a lot. You have the opportunity. We'll expose all of you to practical ministry. Hallelujah. You minister to the sick. Whether the people get healed or not, you struggle with them there. When it doesn't work, you come back. And then we will now examine. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is how believers are supposed to grow. Praise God. And this year we will also raise new leaders for the house of Koinonia. Praise God. Aren't you happy? You want us to die? We won't die. Jethro advised Moses. He said, Moses, this, this thing you are doing, it will kill you he said, set leaders over thousands and over hundreds and over fifties. And Moses took the advice of Jethro, his father-in-law. And that's how he was able to lead two point something million people. Because they were angry people who he had to settle cases from morning till night. Hallelujah. Are you happy about what God is doing? And it's my joy to announce to us that we're going to have a convention this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, it's going to be a powerful one. It will shake this city in and out. It's Tag Eagle Summit 2013. Hallelujah. All our members, all our people, partners everywhere within, outside the country. It's going to be four days of a reign of glory. Hallelujah. We're going to invite ministers. I'm telling you, it's not. The last time we had a program like this was Kingdom Wealth Summit. We don't just have programs as a ritual. God reveals to us. So from 2010, God had not told us anything. Many of you just had the stories. Hallelujah. So it's going to be an exciting time. Hallelujah. An exciting time. All of you will join one committee or the other. You must do something. You are not the ones who will be sitting and warming benches. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's going to be a powerful time. We'll announce the dates convergence of everyone that has been blessed through our lives and ministry. All the campuses around the nation, all the churches, ministers, pastors, that God has used us to be a blessing. Some of the people that God is blessing around the nations, Ghana, South Africa, and so on and so forth, will come together and build ourselves and receive of the Lord. So it's an exciting year. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
And so this is a summary of what our focus for this year, the things that we're going to be doing. So everybody, you will be a part of it. Hallelujah. Say, I'll be a part of it. See, this is the year you must make up your mind that there's no room for lukewarm Christianity and say, wow, koinonia is... No, 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 no. Use the opportunity to build yourself. Did you know that most of the people who are strong today, most great believers that you see around us today were people who had the opportunity to participate in soul winning. When you don't participate, you don't know whether you are growing or not. Hallelujah. I remember when we were a lot fewer than this, when we went to Pangshin Crusade. It wasn't like miracle service that you just have a few ministers. No. We just said, every sick person, if you are healed, come and line up. And then our team that we brought from Zaria will say, all right, everybody just go and stand close to someone. And you don't choose. You just go and stand. Your only prayer is that you stand close to somebody who is not crippled or mad or something. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll never forget Ejimi. He stood near one elderly woman. And the woman said, her hand is swollen pain over her body. Ah. Ejimi said, well, I'll pray for you. And when he prayed for the woman, he wasn't even expecting a healing. Suddenly, the woman turned and began to shout. She said, I was healed. He thought it was a lie. You know how Ejimi is very... He said, this is not true. Now, said the sick people, come so that you get healed. <laughs> Many of you will try it by force. This, your, you will do it. Say, I will do it. Hallelujah. Send some of you to the schools around. And many of you are the ones who will be teaching. When they say we have in our midst a great woman of God, Bishara. Everybody just clap. They say hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me this morning. Come on, give Jesus a big, big shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everyone to be part of what God is doing, especially the blessings that he has said he will give us. Hallelujah. We just have three prayer points this night. Number one is to say, Lord, we pray for your divine presence like never before. Your divine presence. Hold on. I'm just telling you the prayer points first. Hallelujah. And secondly, you say, Lord, this is my year of supernatural exploits. I will do exploits for the kingdom in every area of my life. I must have a testimony. I'm tired of clapping for people here. Hallelujah. And number three, you are going to pray and say, Lord, I extend this word to my family. It won't just be me alone. Every member of my family will be a part of this. If they are not born again, this is their year to be born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, Bishop Jakes will be directing our missions. Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate him. Our missions and evangelism. So he's the one who will do everything, carry the students. It's going to be an exciting year in all sincerity. Make sure that someone comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ through your hands. Make sure, listen, I'm putting this evangelism thing in your mind. Because many of us, let me ask you a question. When was the last time, and some of you, did it ever happen at all, that somebody got born again through you? You come every week and you see people inside and outside. Did you know that someone, hallelujah, someone brought them to the Lord Jesus Christ? Many of you come here and you weep. And you say, I remember what my life was. Hallelujah. This is not the year to be ashamed. Are you listening to me? This is not the year to be lukewarm. He said, you are neither hot nor cold. And I will spew you out of your, my mouth. This is the time to go for it. If you mind the things of God and seek heavenly things, God will, all your needs are things that are not they are not so they are not a big issue you just commit your heart i'm telling you this is the secret of receiving from god this is why it looks like god has zoomed his light on some people because their hearts are determined to pant after god 
This is not the year of saying, Lord, me, my thing. My... No. Concentrate on the advancement of the kingdom. There are hundred level students scattered around. Many of you have seen them. You just pass them and say, hi. Say, hi, hundred level students. Anytime you, listen, anytime you see someone who is not born again, the first thing is to initiate a conversation. The rule is love, not condemnation. Don't look at people and tell them, see how you are looking and you think you'll go to heaven. That's not how to get people born again. Love. So I expect that. It's not, it's not just a week. Many of you wait till we say, okay, this is our week of evangelism. And then you feel zealous and say, I must. No, 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 no. Get someone born again. Seriously born again. Because there are all kinds of born again. We'll be teaching it here. Genuinely born again. The type that will last. Follow them up. Give them an opportunity to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure you do something for the kingdom. This is a year that you will sow into the kingdom like never before. This is the year you will evangelize like never before. This is the year you will not watch the sick pass you and say, I am not Joshua. No! Authority has been given unto you. This is the year you will say in the name of Jesus. That devil. This is the year you will arise and say it's my year of exploits. You call your loved ones and say in the name of Jesus, you are experiencing the power and the grace of God this year. Exploits in every area. That God will give you rest round about, but also that you will be busy doing the works of the kingdom. So this is the kingdom year. Are you listening to me? This is not the year when God do for me, do this for me. No. What can I do for God? Which department can I be part of this year? Hallelujah. What training? This is the year that you will do everything for the kingdom. There is no man, listen to me. The Bible says, but seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. He said, and all other things shall be added unto you. Marriage, relationship, CGPA, prosperity, grace, influence. Many of you are leaders in your departments and your faculties. This is the year you will extend that mandate and that grace. This is not about koinonia. Are you listening to me? Has nothing to do with koinonia. Has nothing to do with ENI. We are not the kind of ministry that say, our ministry, we are the this, we are, no, no, no. Kingdom. Kingdom. You would take the word of God to your departments for the students. Take the word of God. Some of you are in politics like the gentleman who came. It's not the time to say, ah, it's my season to chop while I watch others. It's your season to prove that a believer can walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity, even handling a political office. Hallelujah. This is the year to say no to sin. This is the year to get serious with God. This is the year to cancel some friendships and some relationships. Are you listening to me? To turn and tell your uncle, I've learned to trust God. I will do exploits this year. I won't give my body to you for school fees or anything. This is the year to make up your mind. Are you listening to me? This is the year to kick out all the rubbish songs and all the godless things from your phone. There's nothing like one leg in here, one leg out. No, no. This is the year you will stop struggling with God. It's the year you say, Lord, I give up all for you. This is the year you will be a fanatic for the kingdom. There's no hiding it. There's no issue of saying, oh, me, this, their thing is too extreme. No. Jesus said, listen, he said, if you deny me in the presence of men, if you deny me in the presence of men, he said, I will deny you in the presence of my father. It's the year to lift up his banner and say, Lord, we believe you. I'm a Christian everywhere. I'm a child of God, not just a religious person. I'm a fiery believer. I love God. It's the year to allow the character of the kingdom to manifest. It's the year to use all the blessings of the Lord to serve the king and his kingdom. It's the year to do exploits in your academics. Are you hearing me, students? It's the year to break barriers. Forget about all those rubbish testimonies. You've been hearing them. And if you are a new student in this place, I set you free from all the reports you have had. Are you listening to me? 
It's the year that you can make five points. I tell you, it's the year you can break barriers. What do you think exploit is? It's the year you will move with a magnetic brain. The Holy Ghost walking with you. You will do supernatural things. You are in final year. This is the year like Samson. You will push with the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you, this is the year you will jump from third class. You will jump right even into 2 1. You will scare people. They'll say, This is a lie. You say, No, it's exploits. We call it exploits. You make a name not by talking. He said, Let her walk. Speak for her at the gates. Make up your mind. Every area God is going to bless you, not just your spiritual life. It's the year that you walk in abundance. You have enough to bless people. You are the one who will buy a bag of rice and share it to people during exams. They say, you who begged last session, you say, have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the king, the one who can pick a man from a dunk hill and lift him up? I trust God that the testimonies that we hear this year is not that Joshua Selman prayed for me or Jake's. That we hear that one sister prayed. Listen, our pride is not just to say, oh, it's the man of God. We are failures if that's all the testimony. It's time for us to hear that it was through your hands. Are you listening to me? That the media sent a post and HIV got healed exploits by the spirit that your room in the hostel becomes the place of deliverance the place of blessings that every time people come whenever they are thirsty they know they will find life they will find help exploits in your hostels i'm telling you students take over abu it's yours the anointing is upon you shake your faculty shake your department shake everywhere not by making noise exploits by the spirit your lecturer cannot come because they say something is wrong with him you go to his office and say sir can i pray with you the lord walking with you the lord walking with you you're going in power the Lord walking with you and you say in the name of Jesus the one who I serve and the one whose I am I command that devil to leave you hallelujah that this year you will be the counselor now you will be the counselor that many people will run to you and hear the counsel of the Lord this is what ministry is about it's not about having titles and parading sons I'm telling you, it's a season of exploit. Many of you will write books this year. You will be surprised. You thought you could not do it. The hand of God will come. Certain visions that have died, suddenly, like dry bones, it will quicken you in the night and you will speak. Say, write books on faith. Break barriers. Many of you, they thought you are the worst student in your class. But you will watch people run to your room and say, teach me, I cannot understand. For he has given me the tongue of the learned. Let me tell you something. Many of you will shock people. I'm not just motivating you. I'm prophesying unto you. Because it will happen. It's by the Spirit of God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Walk in this consciousness. I'm a minister. Has nothing to do with pastor. Has nothing to do with apostle. I carry fire. I carry the life of God. If you are the president of a faculty, say we will shake it. No nonsense in our faculty. No keeping students behind. We will shake it by the power of the Holy Ghost. The best result will come from believers. The best result, I tell you, the best result in your orals the best result your mbbs medical students shake the campus this is the year listen when a faculty listen listen this is the year when a faculty will buy those pins and write it 
and go and tell the dean of the faculty that we are tired of death in this faculty. Listen, well, it's not just about praying in tongues. We are training you to become agents of transformation. You cannot do such a thing in your faculty and not be a voice. Are you listening to me? Stop thinking about yourself. Begin to take the influence of the kingdom. time for believers one of my goals this year is to steer a fire upon the campus not by that name Joshua Selman we want to silence our name and let your name be the one that will be high say I can do it the power of the Holy Ghost is upon me I'm not ordinary prophesy I'm not ordinary his hand is upon me. His hand is upon me. Say it, his hand is upon me. The power of the Holy Ghost. His hand is upon me. His hand is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I'm taking the influence of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen. This is the year that some of you will influence Facebook. You will take your Facebook account and turn it into a ministry and a wonder. Many of you will take your Twitter. Listen, you must participate. It's a season of exploits. Hallelujah. Many of you will gain scholarships. They say, don't apply. Who told you? Go and apply. Go and apply. Who said you won't get it? Don't let, see, this is the year to refuse any report that is not consistent with God's word. You have been living upon the news of people. Break barriers. Say, my village does not matter. I cannot speak English, but the Holy Ghost is upon me. No inferiority this year. No complex this year. Refuse it. Refuse it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. Yes, you can buy exercise books this year. And this, see, we are talking about the influence. Taking the influence to the social strata. Are you listening to me? Some of you will produce tracts and send it. You must take kingdom responsibility. You have been trained. Many of you, as you are this year, you will be paying somebody's school fees. I'm telling you, you will be sending money home as you are. I prophesy, you may not see the wind. You don't know how it will happen. But the Lord has declared, exploits is supernatural by the Spirit of God. One man, Paul, shook the entire span of Asia Minor. Let me tell you something. As a ministry, we are going to shake this land to its foundation this year. I tell you, I tell you, we will shake this land to its foundation. I don't see limits in my life. See, I want to, Paul said, let, I mean, he said, let this mind be in you. There is a mindset you must kick out this year. Many of you, when you come for koinonia, you see others jumping and receiving. I say, what are they doing? Let me tell you what they are doing. They are taking the word of God, making it their own, and partnering with the Holy Ghost. Say, Lord, yes, it can be done. Some of you will buy properties this year, lands, and even begin to put structures. I tell you, that it's a time of establishment. Take the limits of God. Take the limit of God. Who told you God cannot do it? Many of you will run businesses this year that will shock people. I'm telling you this. By the spirit, an idea God will give you. In your sleep, in your dream, you will see it. You will feed your family. You will never beg any man born of a woman for money. Because God is with you. There are many of you in this place 
This is the year you answer a question your uncles asked you some years ago. They say, when will you surprise us? And you could not answer that question. Today, from today, I prophesy that this year, you will answer it not by talking, but by doing exploits. I prophesy it upon your life. Exploits. Exploits by the power of the Holy Ghost. what God is doing and our job tonight is to stir us up hallelujah there are many of you they've spoken to you nobody enters a relationship in your family nobody gets married well this is the year you present your fiance to all those devilish principalities and powers believe it all our messages will go far across campuses, across ministries, across churches. It will cause a revival. It will reverberate. It will shake evil. See, what you see happening tonight is the spirit of revival. Many of you don't know what a revival looks like. When God finds a man who can agree with him, that's why he said, is anything too hard? The two is to find the man that can say, Lord, I believe. And tonight we are believers in this place. We believe him. There are many of you, because of the blessings that God will bless you, if they employ your parents and pay them 300,000, it will be an insult because of the blessings that you will be sending home. There are many of you here. You are not the firstborn, but grace will take you to that status. You will have a voice in your family. You will have a voice. The Lord will give you a voice in the name of the Lord Jesus. Many of you will run with the spirit of Elijah. You will walk on water this year. I'm telling you, you will walk on water. You have been delayed. Especially for spillover students, hear me. It's your time to walk on water. You will not graduate alone. You will come out with blessings that will prove to men that even in the valley, God was with you. You will silence the mouth of wicked people in the name of Jesus. I tell you, listen. Listen. I speak to the spillover students. I bring you a prophetic word. They should rejoice not over you any enemy because God is not true with you. When he's done, one step in destiny, you will cover up, you will overtake, you will pursue, exploit. Are you listening to me? Listen, listen, listen. I'm speaking specifically to spillover students. This is not the year to just chicken out and no, no, no. This is the season to know that like Samson, that he brought you, you will push with a strength. You will not only push academics, you will push in the area of marriage, destiny. Forget about all those people that preach devilish messages, making you feel condemned. You need to rise to a higher spiritual plane and see what God is doing in the lives of people. There are some of you who didn't stay back because it's not because you are lazy. In the future, you will know. That's why the Bible said, judge not. The operation of the spirit in the life of a man is strange. There are certain people because of the weight of destiny they carry. Am I speaking to someone? Faculty president, encourage your, all the spillover students. Let no believer condemn anybody here. Are you listening to me? the year when you mind your business and move forward and shut your big mouth over other people's issues. It's the year when you mind your business and advance the kingdom. This is the year when pray for me, pray for me must diminish in your life because the spirit of prayer must mantle you this year. Are you listening to me? 
Stop begging for exploits. You are not a baby anymore. You will arise and say, Satan, let me tell you something. I will not become a baby forever. At every challenge, you chicken out. No! This is the year to stand. It's only hell that has gates. The church does not have gates. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell. The church does not have gates. We are limitless. Hallelujah. And I want you to enjoy prosperity this year. It's a year for prosperity. Prosperity gives you focus. Prosperity helps you to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Say it's my year to prosper. Oh yes, God will give you favor and wisdom. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That when we say there's something to do. You will be the one rushing with seats and say, God bless me. I can't be ungrateful. Hallelujah. Say this year I become a nation. See, something must happen to someone through your hands this year. Are you listening to me? People can't keep blessing you. You are coming for koinonia every time. No. Someone's life. So begin to think like a leader. Say, I am a leader. Inside and outside. Say, I am a leader. Say it again. I am a leader. Say, it's my year of responsibility. Yes. Stop being the child. Stop being the baby. You will grow up by the spirit. And begin to affect the life of others. The exploit is not one person doing exploits. It's a team of people. Worship team, this is your season of exploit. The Lord showed me you will do mighty things upon this altar. I want you to believe. You will do mighty things. I saw it in multiple visions. Mighty things by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will have this year market. You will have recorded miracles as you worship. You will see it happen. Many people will come and testify that as the worship team were worshiping suddenly, I'm not talking of headache. I'm talking of major sicknesses. Because God is walking with us. God is walking with us. God is walking with us. So you must be a part of what God is doing for your life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? First prayer point. Say, Lord, all these blessings will start from my life. If you are not blessed, you can't bless others. Say, Lord, this year, exploit. I become an evidence. An evidence. Paul says we are written epistles. Lift your voice and pray. Come on, pray. I am an epistle of supernatural exploits. In 2013, prophesy all the area of exploits. Exploits in my finances. Exploits in my health. Pray. Exploits in the miraculous. Exploits in evangelism. I am a blessing. I am a blessing. Like Father Abraham. I am a blessing. I will not be a burden to anyone in 2013. I will not be a burden in the name of Jesus. Pray. Say, Lord, I'm the first partaker of prosperity, of grace, of power, of wisdom, of grace. Say, Lord, I will prosper. I walk in power. Someone will be healed through my hands. Someone will be saved through me. A family will be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. for students. Listen. I prayed and I said, Lord, 
no matter how much exploits is done, let there be academic exploits. That's the next prayer point. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. When I'm talking about ex exploits, I'm not just talking of doing well. Making a mark. An A in a cause that in the last 10 years, nobody got. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, exploit. Pray. Exploit. Exploit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Exploit. Every student pray, I am not tall. I refuse that report. I am not tall. I don't care how many carryovers you have. I don't care what your academic story is. Say, Lord, I will rise again. There is hope for a tree. Though it be cut off, I will rise again. I will rise. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, I will rise by the Spirit. Prophesy, save my year of five points, five points, four points. There will be a leaping of CGPS, leaping, leaping, leaping. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, how many of us want exploits in your academics? You are going to mention all your courses one by one. If you can remember them. Are you listening to me? And you are going to say, I speak to you. I don't care what the story has come with the lecturer. I'd like you to speak and say no carryover this year. Open your mouth and speak. Every course, mention it one by one. It has a name. Someone has graduated from your department. Lift up your voice and pray. Say, I challenge you in this season, your projects, your practicals, exploits, exploits, faculty of arts, exploits, faculty of environmental sciences, exploits, faculty of engineering, exploits, faculty of medicine, exploits, in the name of Jesus, faculty of education, all the faculties, Exploits, master students, PhD students, exploits. Your work is the best. Your project is the best. They are calling you from abroad. They are calling you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I invoke it by the Spirit. They are calling you. Your work will not die in that department. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Listen. So, students, no laziness this year. Are you listening to me? No reading for your exams. Two days the exams. Many of you have come late. Go and catch up now. Are you listening to me? Form groups. Do your tutorials. Don't sleep until you have done all your assignments. Are you listening to me? will force you to excel in your academics this year. Because when you excel in your academics, you will silence the mouth of wicked people in your faculty. This is not the year of hiding handouts and doing all these stupid, ungodly things. If you are here and you are involved, this is the year of your deliverance. You share materials with people. This is the year you will vow and say no malpractice. Hallelujah. So begin to read. Whatever you don't understand, break your pride and humble yourself. There are many intelligent people in this place. There are many first class students. Listen, this is the year. Humble yourself. Say I receive humility. God has blessed us with all calibers of people here. Hallelujah. Go and meet someone. Set exams for yourself. Don't read what you know and mark it and say I read. It's not those that read that pass. It's those that understand. 
Are you listening to me? In your room, have discussions. There are lots of MSc students in this place for undergraduates. Don't sit back there. Say, I'm breaking forth. Say it. Go and get your hand out. No buying any with one until you bought your hand out. Hallelujah. And you settle down. Listen, listen. This is the year you will streamline excessive and unprofitable programs. Are you listening to me? Because that's what is killing some of you. Everything you are running and going, everything you are running and going, you are moving, and this is a say, I will settle down. Say it. This is when some of you need to sit down. Many of you are students, you are sleeping 12 hours as if you just gave birth. It's the year when you will cast away slumber and the spirit of procrastination. Let me tell you, nobody emerges great with laziness. Not in ministry, not in any area. You must stay awake and burn your candles honorably. Are you listening to me? It's the year that if you see somebody being unserious, you don't just say, I'm minding my business. No way. Go and meet the person. Hallelujah. I see you excelling. There's a spirit that has been transferred to you. You will run with it. Many of you, your real glory will shine. You will see it. Hallelujah. Before you come for Koinonia, you do your assignment. You don't just get up and be running around. Final year students. Now is not the time to be involved in everything. Running from pillar to post. I don't know your house. Where in Sabo do you live? Go back and sit down. Because the kind of exploits God wants to do in this house will surprise many people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Get materials. Pray. Take time out to pray. Have your group with your little classmates and pray. Don't be in a group of three or four and you are lazy and the rest are serious and say they are leaving me. Why won't they leave you? Why won't they leave you? You are reading, you are doing night call with your boyfriend. Off that phone and sit down and read your book. This is the year when you are decisive. Say, hi, he's calling me. If I don't pick now, he won't pick later. Does he know you are a student? Praise the Lord. I've come again, Abby. It wasn't the plan. The plan was to be nice today. But I want you to excel. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Last prayer point, your family. Listen, how many of you want your families to send their testimonies that God is alive? I showed you a scripture in Job. Where for your sake, God can even cover for unbelievers. Because some of our family members are not born again. And where they are today is a product of their mistake, but you are going to pray. Say, Lord, let them be covered in this wave of supernatural exploits. Lift your voice and pray. From the village, from their homes, pray. Say, Lord, bless them. Bless them. Bring a kind of blessing that will settle every divorce threat. Bring a kind of blessing that will settle problems and disputes between loved ones. Lord, remember my family. Change their stories. Pray in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, change their stories. I prayed for my family. I took out time to pray for them. Say, Lord, help them to walk in righteousness. As you bless me, oh God, bless them. As you lift me, lift them. As you promote me, promote them. Pray for your family. Say, Lord, remember my father. Remember my mother. Remember my sisters and my brothers.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we're establishing a standing rule in this place. Listen. Nobody will force you boys for your own good. Every one of you must pray for at least one hour every day. Are you listening to me? Don't say we don't have a place to... You must find, find a way. Everybody, are you agreeing? It's for your spiritual development. At least one hour. Preferably early in the morning and late at night. The sincere truth is well, one hour so that at least everybody can start from somewhere. Hallelujah. Let the spirit of prayerlessness die. You must pray. Wake up in the morning and pray. Just play worship. If you are disrupting your roommates, put your earphone. If you cannot, come out. Hallelujah. Please write these things. One hour at least, you must pray every day. Number two, at least once every month, you must separate a whole day and stay alone with God. Write it. Once every month, I'm teaching you the secret of power. Once every month. You can't be too busy. No. I do it every week. Once. When you stay with God, you will become news. But when you are gallivanting around men, you will soon fade. Once a month. Choose any time once a month. And stay with God. Hallelujah. You can fast. You can take light food. What do you do those times? Number one, examining your spiritual life. That's not the time to say more power. It's the time to say, Lord, is there lost in me? Am I beginning to like women because you are lifting me? Am I beginning to like money? Am I beginning to be tempted into pornography or anything? This is the year you must flog it out consistently with destiny. Hallelujah. Once a month, you must do it. For those of you who are groups, you try to do it as a group. You will attract the presence of God. And when the presence of God is with you, every other thing will be alright. Hallelujah. Praise God. So periodic retreats, they that wait upon the Lord. Don't be too busy. You can't be too busy for God and your destiny. As you draw back, you will see that you need to study more. You will see that you have been neglecting some goals that you have set. Number three, during retreats, set goals. Set goals. Financial goals. Marital goals. Academic goals. Structural goals. Especially for the guys. This is the year you will stop being a child and become a man. Hallelujah. You must set goals. Sit down in destiny. Where is my life going? I can't be escorting other people. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. But now that I'm a man, I lay aside these childish things. It's the year when many of you will come to yourself and say enough of childishness. So you must set goals and follow them up. Give your goals deadline. Many of you may need to go back and do it today. What is your goal for January? What is your goal for this year? Spiritual goals, what do you want to achieve? Financial goals, what do you want to achieve? Marital goals, what do you want to achieve? Without vision, the people perish. Hallelujah. Praise God. many of you believe this is a great year? Start with this fire and sustain the fire. Don't start in January and by February or March, uh-uh. The Bible says it shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water. You are hot January down to December. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands as I speak over your life or around you now. I declare that personally you will be a testimony 
of supernatural exploits. I command exploits in your academics, exploits on your job, exploits in your marital life. In the name of Jesus, exploits in your spiritual life, exploits in your finances. These hands that are lifted will work miracles this year. In the name of Jesus, exploits to every department in this ministry, exploits in the life of the ministers, exploits of power, exploits of wisdom, exploits of grace, exploits of honor. The Lord will restore this year. The Lord will wipe your tears this year. The Lord will lift you this year. The Lord will exalt you this year. He will cause your horn to be lifted. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you have no covenant with death this year. I forbid the noise of mourning will not be heard in your family this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as you walk around, God is with you. God is with you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, if you're here and you've not given your heart to the Lord, or you were once a believer, but you are backsliding, you've just left God and the things of God will give you an opportunity. You're a new student, you are just coming. What an opportunity for you to begin a new life. Please keep standing. Keep standing. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're there and the Lord is convicting you. Please leave where you are and come out quickly. Come out quickly. You need to make it right with God. The Lord is speaking to you. We're giving you an opportunity one minute quickly. Hallelujah. Is there anyone? Appreciate them. I believe the Lord is speaking to some people. It's time to make it new with God. Hallelujah. Inside and outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. I pray that you will be so winners as you go back. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every week you will save someone. Every week someone's destiny will be altered because of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, we'll take a few announcements very quickly.